Hi guys and ladies, I stumbled on another Rachel Ray recipe that I want to try so much. But the winter winds below freezing temperatures and muddy water is going to make fishing almost impossible. But I've got to give it a try. My young viewers especially want to see fishing, not Rachel Ray recipes. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Look, it's 29 degrees and snowing on and off, and my line is probably going to freeze to my rod. Also, I'm going to have to row today. Oof. Well, I'm going to start out with this. This is a little 132nd ounce jig, and I've got on there a couple of mealworms. So let's see if any fish can find them in this murky, icy water. I can't believe it. I, I I never thought fishing was possible in this weather. It's snowing out here. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I didn't think it was possible to catch a bluegill in muddy water like this, but it is. Oh my goodness, it's a nice one. And I love bluegill. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> All right, another beautiful uh, bluegill. <laughs> beautiful, look how big these things are. Well, I cast it out. I don't have to wait too long, you know? You just kind of like wait a couple of seconds, let it fall, and then try to feel for a little, the slightest tick. And that's a fish. Ice everywhere. Whoa, whoa. Wow, another crappie! I don't believe this day. <laughs> Fishing in the snow. And look at the size on these guys. I just can't fish anymore. Uh, there's too much ice on the line and the rod and the guides and everything. So let's get in the house. You know, look. <laughs> I've got four really nice fish. Let's fillet them. And then we'll see if we could do that Rachel Ray recipe. Who would have thought I could catch fish in cold, muddy water with below freezing temperatures in snow flurries? But we caught four nice fish before my equipment froze up. Well, I put the crappie in the freezer for fish cakes another day. And here I have six ounces of these gorgeous bluegill fillets. And wait, to them I'm going to add more bluegill, a pound of frozen ones for our dinner tonight, which is lemon curry fish by Rachel Ray. Let's put together a quickie cucumber salad. I'm not sure how to do this, but I'm measuring out one cup of full fat Greek yogurt. Oh, that's more than enough. Let's quickly peel this cucumber. Here I'm shredding two thirds of that big cucumber. 
I've wrung it out some. Let's dump it in with our yogurt. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm trying to shred these carrots. That's about one and a half shredded carrots. Let's mix that in. Oop. Oh dear. I need a, a tablespoon of lemon juice. That's about a half a lemon, I guess. This isn't in the recipe, but just a tidbit of salt might bring out some of that flavor. Well, here it is. Let me take a taste. Oh, that's really good. Citrusy, cucumbery. <laughs> I don't really taste the carrots much, but oh, is this good? <laughs> this is unusual. It's a, a good little side dish. Well, I've got our bluegill all laid out on this baking sheet, and all I'm going to do is add this smoked paprika to our fillets. Both sides, both sides. Also, to both sides, and this stuff smells so good. I'm adding curry powder, both sides. I love the smell. <laughs> I'm doing the second side now. Now on one side only, I'm adding some salt. Now a little pepper. I've got three or four tablespoons, about three and a half, of uh, extra virgin olive oil. I've got our heat on like medium to medium high, somewhere in there. And let's start our fish fillets. Here we go. Now we want to do these just two minutes on each side. Time to flip. Oh. The aroma in this house. Oh, plus the color. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Another great recipe. I'm getting them out. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> if these taste anything like they smell, wow. Home run, touchdown, wow. I'm going to keep these just a little bit warm on a very low but warm oven. While our fish is keeping warm in the oven, I should tell you all that the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way here for dinner tonight. You know, we've been seeing each other for over 50 years, but she never mentions marriage. <laughs> I'm shy, but you know, it's about time I mentioned putting a ring on her finger. I'm going to bring it up tonight. That's right, tonight's the night before she gets here. I gotta try just a little bit of this. Oh, oh you're gonna love this. Use tilapia, whatever. You're gonna love it. <laughs> well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, thank you so much for joining me here in my moth-eaten mobile home. And uh, you had a chance to dine with me on uh, that uh, cool cucumber salad and also my lemon curry fish. What did you think? It was all very tasty. It was a nice blend of foreign flavors, a little bit of... You know, a little bit of Greek and a little bit of Indian. Greek and Very Indian. Good. Very, Very good, good combination. Yes, thank you. I, you caught that. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, oh, may I call you sure. Lulu? Oh, sure. th thank you. Um, I was thinking, marriage consists of two rings, you know? An engagement ring mm -hmm. and a wedding ring. Uh, you forgot one. I did? Uh, what's that? Suffering. Oh, can I have a hug?